welcome to this week's Vodcast Extra. One of the things that happens in instructional videos is they normally cruise through all of the main elements and you get the idea that you've got everything you need to get going, but uh, some critical skills get left out along the way. And since we've been talking about fencing this week, I thought I would just show you one thing that applies to running a new fence, but you can also apply to all sorts of other DIY projects, especially when you're making something long and straight. And that is how to use a straight line. You've probably seen this stuff in spools laying around your local hardware store or the tool department at the big box store. And uh, you might think it's just normal string, but it's not. This is nylon string made for construction guideline. It's not for tying up packages. It's not for wrapping up the roast and putting it on the stove. It's actually not for wrapping anything. It's for becoming a long, straight guideline that helps us make sure that the thing that it's running next to is in fact straight. That's why it's so tough and that's why it usually comes in a really bright color. Let me show you how to set it up. So let's say we wanted to find out just how straight a long section of fence is. We really want to find out from end to end how plumb the posts are and whether this fence is wagging back and forth. That's where the string line comes in. Probably the most common mistake that most people make is putting the string line right up against the thing that they're trying to keep straight. That doesn't work because as you can see, even here, the inconsistencies in the board, each board pushes against the line itself. We need this line to be straight and independent of the wall or the fence that we want to gauge it from. So what I'm going to do is just really quickly attach a 2x4. Our string line is going to be attached on the back side of the 2x4. And what's going to happen is the line will attach here. It's going to run over the surface of this 2x4 and then be held out against the fence the rest of the way down so that we know, since the 2x4 is, in this case, an inch and a half thick, our line should be an inch and a half off this fence all the way down if the fence is straight. This starts at this end of the string with a simple loop. And when I mean simple, I mean really simple. You just double over the line, tie it in a knot. And that loop will stay at the end of your string for years to come. Now I'm gonna take my loop, loop it over the screw that we put beyond our spacer board, and then right across the face of the spacer board, which is the two by four, and down the line to the other spacer board, which amazingly, we have already installed. The opposite spacer board and opposite screw. This is where the strength of this line really comes into play. Because for this line to be truly straight, it shouldn't sag and it shouldn't be able to wag too much. Just drop the spool. I double back the string around my finger and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why seven? I don't know, you could go six. Don't go five though, that would be a huge mistake. And then over the nail. Now, while you're holding the slack in the line, I grab the nylon line. Can you catch that right there? And I pull it and I take up the slack. And I pull it tighter and I take up the slack. And tighter, and tighter. Until this thing is like a piano wire. Then all I have to do is one quick motion. Wrap it around a couple of times, it's locked off. And now look what we've got. A perfectly straight line, nice and taut, evenly spaced, all the way across on both ends, inch and a half, inch and a half. So I hope you can appreciate the magic of what's going on here, because this is serious builder stuff. What do we do with our line when we're done with it? Well, we keep it, we don't cut it, because all I have to do is unwrap it, pull it back, and the whole thing will loosen up, come off, and we do it again. Because I want you to get this, I'm gonna do it one more time. We've got our line attached at the other end. I'm holding it here. I just loop it over around a finger, and one, two, three, four, count with me. Seven. Over the screw, grab some line, pull it. More line, pull it, cinch it back wrap it around. 
we've got a nice straight tight line exactly in this case an inch and a half off the fence at both sides which means if this fence is straight everything should be an inch and a half off of this line nothing's interfering with the line so it's going to stay straight and true now you can do this if we're repairing an old fence like this but what if we were building a new fence it would be the same story this would be attached to our first post on one corner then we go all the way over to the other end of the run where we set our second fence post then we run our string on top of the spacers and then every fence post that we set along the way would be exactly that distance off the string and when we're all said and done and we take the string down our fence is as straight as an arrow and that is how you use a nylon string line be sure to watch the show every Sunday at 10. Talk to you soon.